You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road dress for Black and White Sports 2. Well, I have no idea what it is Antonio Brown is trying to do or wants to do or what he's really into. It seems he supposedly wants to still be an NFL wide receiver, but at the same time, he's now dropping rap albums where he is actually sort of taking shots at the Tampa Bay Bucks and the Buffalo Bills for a failed acquisition a very while back. Kind of odd. You would think after all the controversy involving the Bucks, Bruce Arians telling him to get the hell off the field, supposedly re- releasing him on the spot, that became a massive story. A huge story. Entire month of January on Black and White Sports was Antonio Brown. I shit you not. It was huge. One of the biggest stories in the history of that channel. Well... Now we got this rap album. I mean, he, he's smoking a foot-long blunt, too, at some event on 420. I'm not even going into that. Uh, I mean, you know, okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. I guess that's what uh, keeping a low profile is all about if you want to try to get back in the good graces of the league, supposedly. Antonio Brown raps about Bucks. Meltdown on new album. All right, there he is. Antonio Brown didn't shy away from his Bucks blow-up on his new rap album. In fact, the NFL player dropped multiple bars about his famous Tampa Bay exit on several tracks. Wow. AB posted the album called Paradigm on Wednesday morning, and in two songs he referenced his January 2nd shirtless tirade at MetLife Stadium. Wow, that's something to be so proud of. I mean, God... There he is right there. Supposedly, he came out and said a while back that he re- he regretted having done that like that. Well, I don't know. If you're rapping about it, how bad do you really feel about it? Uh, I don't know. In the songs, Business Booming and Put That Shit On, he rapped about the way he quit on his team during the Bucks versus Jets tilt. Quote, Sorry I ran off the field, A.B. sang in Business Booming track. I'm booming. Got to get my money. I'm booming. Walk out your life. <laughs> walk walk out your bitch life like I walked out the field or something. He's saying and put that shit on tra- track. And A.B., why you make the goat retire? What's your deal or something? Seems to me like he took a little shot at Tom Brady there. The baby who's featured. The baby is still around? Really? The baby, who's featured on the Business Movement song, also brought up the incident rapping at one point, I throw my shirt off like A.B. I don't want to play for your team. Okay, wow. Brown also poked fun at his infamous failed trade to the Buffalo Bills in 2019, rapping and put that shit on. Buffalo skin on my coat. She think I play for the Bills or something. Wow. I hate to break it to you. The Bills got a pretty damn good team right now. Pretty good. Wow. Overall, the album shows the receiver is serious about his craft. Well, I listened to it, and yikes. Of course, Kanye might have been a big influence on this project since the award-winning rapper slash producer has been spotted with AB in the studio numerous times. Despite his journey in rap, the 33-year-old still wants to play in the NFL. Are we sure? Telling his la- telling us last month, I would love to continue my career. I got a lot of game left in me. You would think maybe don't take shots at Tampa Bay. Don't take shots at the Buffalo Bills. By the way, if the Bills would have come calling with that team they got right now, it's odd. I mean, there's been talk about Cole Beasley not being there. Antonio Brown would have seemed like a good possible slot receiver. Guess not if you're going to take shots at the Buffalo Bills. Again, how serious are you about coming back? I guess now that Bruce Arians is off the team, you take a shot at the GOAT, it seems like, in this in this, in this this rap album. Tom Brady's not going to want to play with you again either. And y'all supposedly already had some beef, and then you apologized or whatever. Dude, you thank him for helping you win a Super Bowl. I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. Man, this guy, I, I don't know. I acknowledge... 
I don't want anybody to think I'm hating on Antonio Brown's skills as a wide receiver singular. The dude's got unfreaking believable talent. Even at 33, even at 32, if you go back and look at his stats when he played last year, I mean, the dude is still a beast when he plays. But he's injury prone. He's 33 years old. Not willing to keep a low profile. He's talked about the Ravens. He's talked about the Cowboys. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish. You would think, hey, sit down, be quiet. Lack of a better way of putting it, my dad would say, shut the F up, sit down, chill out, and wait for somebody to call. You don't seem capable of that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Call me crazy. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 fans. Antonio Brown, yeah. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no-holds-barred truth on sports. The main event starts now.